something really really special and that's what I really love started getting into it. and I used to a uh, market store at the electric ball rip and we did jungle sales and we started picking up things and it was just a weekend weekend job because on the weekdays I was mainly doing my landscape garden which was good fun so riding around a bike in London in the 80s early 80s was even better fun and the weekend market in the 80s was fantastic a lot of foreign tourists there which is always good fun. And so in the 82, 83, I went to Singapore. I had in Kuala Lumpur and I had clothes made for myself. And it's just a natural progression. I thought, if they can do it for me, what's the opportunity of actually trying to make things to actually sell? And it was a very, very long process trying to teach someone to make something correctly. It's taken many, many years. But that's, yeah, so that's how Zion Costumes first started. Though it was known by different names before. How, how does the, what's the method of working? Gen generally speaking, I mean, we're in a football world, not fortunate. It's taken many years. Many people know who we are. So we don't actively normally have to chase work. And years ago, I, I used to have to look very, very hard because before I did costumes, well, running with costumes, I used to do um, bankers, ar architects, lawyers, people like this, professional people who wanted suits to wear to work. And I found out it was far easier to sell somebody a suit than it was to sell the idea to a costume designer and come and use us. Because you buy a suit and it's, if it works, it doesn't work, it's not a big problem. You just lose the money it costs. But you actually approach a costume designer, it's their reputation, and that's everything, you know. And this is the one, I think this is the key word in this industry, is reputation. It's, you know, everyone's in, in this industry or in, in a job to make money, but the most important thing for the long reputation, you get it right, it then becomes easier and easier over the years. People start to trust you, and trust is very important. So it took a long time to start, you know, to be able to convince people to put their reputation on the line. And it's perpetual. You, you find that after a period of time, people become more confident, um, and people are more willing to use you. But so, what happens now is that we, we, we have an inquiry, like a couple of days ago, some lady from Iceland wants, is making a film based in 19, oh, no, 1912, 1912 uh, first part of the 20th century, and it's polar exploration. So this is very, very interesting, because you're not just making a period piece that's got to do with how the suits are made, you're also making garments or costumes that are very, very functional as well and have to appear not just of the age but also sort of you know, to keep out warm and cold. So the designer sends us a list of things she's interested in, she sends us pictures, photographs, we look at the photographs and try to gauge how we're going to try to make it. Now sometimes the designer will take you through the whole thing A to B to C to D and you just follow the steps that we requested. But a lot of the time, we have to get involved, or we get involved, because we're actually manufacturing, and we know what we have here. We know what fabrics we have, we know what interfaces we have, and we know what's going to work. If we're in a slightly better position, and what we try to do is advise the designer what we can do in the best way we think we can do it, and we work in conjunction. So the designs come, we send fabrics over, uh, that takes two days to get there, very quick. 
they look at the fabrics and they say, is this available? Can we use this, this, and this? And we then sort of start putting it together. The next step is having the measurements. Now, this should be the easiest thing, but it can be the most problematic. Actors are renowned for not wishing to have their measurements taken, whether it's egotistical or whatever reason, but it's the bane of every designer's life. And we have to be very, very careful because actors being actors, the sizes that we have, unless we can take them professionally by someone in the industry, everyone's six foot tall, everyone's got a 32 inch waist, and everyone's got a 42 inch chest, you know. It doesn't happen that way, so you have to look at it. You try to get photographs and you use your experience then to sort of build up the bigger picture. I suppose the key element for us with any work we take on is time. You know, the more time we have, the safer we are. But so many times we work to schedules that are so ridiculously short. Um, in a way, that's more fun. It's more of a challenge. It shouldn't be. But, well, I say that, but you have to do all the cutting and supervise the workshop. So I think it's funny. You just find it bloody annoying. The style of Europe I like to do and why? Actually, for me, it's because I'm learning still. To me, everything is very interesting. I do like everything. Especially that something really complicated is really interesting. me. want to know more, want to learn more. Even though the fabric. To me, I think if you do something, you have to do from your heart. You still like it, you love it, and then you're going to do That's for me. When I'm doing something, I think my husband knows that when I'm stuck, I will not stop before finish. That's what I'm doing. And I love it. I'm enjoying it. I do. I train as a, a designer, fashion designer in London. Actually, uh, actually, many people would want to be a, would, would like to be a designer and so on. But I enjoy pattern cutting moms. Because even though, because it's up to the pattern cutter to produce, a, not to say the final work, it's the main core of everything, of, a, of each piece, the pattern cutting. You may, you may draw as beautiful as you want, but if the cutting doesn't come out fitting or according, made according to the design, then it's, it's useless. That's, that's why I find pattern cutting is, is interesting, is it? because you are, you, what, how do I put it? You are almost like, not to say a creator, you are someone, you know, a link between a designer and the, and, and the person who are doing the sewing. But this, this left and right side of, of the two were all based on your, whatever produced were based on your pattern. สวัสดีค่ะชื่อเจียมค่ะชื่อจริงชื่อจุธารัตน์กอยากาค่ะทำแพทเทิร์นที่สยามคอสตูมมาสี่ปีนี้ละค่ะงานที่ทำที่นี่ก็คือสร้างเสื้อกางเกงกระโปรงทุกรูปแบบแล้วก็เกตใส่ตามที่ลูกค้าต้องการปกติก็เป็นคนชอบงานสร้างแบบอยู่แล้วก็คือจะทำมาตั้งแต่สมัยเรียนอายุสิบหกปีแล้วก็ทำงานด้านนี้มาตลอดอยู่ที่นี่ก็แฮปปี้ดีค่ะเพื่อนๆทุกคนก็น่ารักเจ้านายก็ใจดีน่ารัก Yes my name is Arif Rusman I am come from Indonesia I am stay in Thailand about ten years is head mill pattern cutter and, and yes I think Siam costume is become so it's really so quick and then because when I come here the first time just one one building one one factory and then now become five building and big so many stuff and then the work is Always be seen. Oh, I would not even die. Oh, so hard on time. Don't die. Oh, so hard on time. You better get him. 
เต็มนงสงสารเขียนที่บ้านดูใหญ่ใจรักเขียนที่บ้านดูใหญ่ใจรักพอสอหักให้ช่วงห่วงใช่เด็ดดินลืมกินเขาแล้วง่ายเด็ดเปล่าลืมกินเขาแล้วง่ายเด็ดเปล่าคิดเห็นหน้าพี่เจ้าผู้ยังเขาบ่นอนแกนตอนตอนยังมาทอใส่ลาแกนตอนตอนยังมาทอใส่ลากระยมมาหน้าไรน้องกองกันใส่น้ำตำต่อซ้อนลืมต้นป้าเปล่าตำต่อซ้อนลืมต้นป้าเปล่าลงละเมื่อปากเปล่าจะจะมีค่ะใจใจมาอะไรรักกับพี่ใจใจมาอะไรรักกับพี่พอยอดรักคนดีอย่าง้อยเงาเศร้าซึมลืมกินข้าวเศร้าจะไหนมาอันลืมกินข้าวเศร้าจะไหนมาอันเขียนจะไหนหนึ่งกันมาแล้วส่งถึงใจหน้าแล้วสลังซื้อโอซอใจหน้าแล้วสลังซื้อโอซอกระพ้นทหารล่อหลักอยู่ใช้แดงบุญบุญหัวคุ้มนอนหลุมแทนเสือบุญหัวคุ้มนอนหลุมแทนเสือมาเลือใจพี่น้องมองไหลต่อมาอยู่ฝ่าฝ่าไอ้สุดขอบเขาเขียวอยู่ฝ่าฝ่าไอ้สุดขอบเขาเขียวได้จะเที่ยวทางหกปลาหน้าใจกล้าอาสาสุขไอ้สาตุ้งปูเขตอาสาสุขไอ้สาตุ้งปูเขตแสบไม่เสบกาดอนเอาไอ้ลืนคนขอให้บนจากผู้ผู้ป้าขอให้บนจากผู้ผู้ป้ากระนอสีรอคอยรักบ่าไปใช้ทางบ้านทำมาจากทางบ้านทางมัดทางบ้าน